uh, hi everyone so let's take a look on set 3 and uh, here is the first question so we are doing evaluation so eval is actually evaluating the string expression and I think this would be fine 10 10 100 plus 5 it should be 105 in the number so answer should be a session storage local storage key storage right these are very important things and a lot of questions are asked in the interviews regarding this so session storage is something which we are actually managing at the server side client storage and cookie storage and the local storage at the client side so your session will go away whenever you close the tab so answer is b for this okay moving to this what we have is what will be the output of this we have a number and trying to print the number so it's like a variable right so you can actually override the value this is how javascript works so b will be 10 answer will be 10 here what is the output of this so object this is object so one important thing you have to make, take care is whenever we are doing object dot something it always considered as a string so object dot has one property either you type number or either you type a string it always considered that as a string so object dot has one property one string will also be considered as this so it, yes it is true object dot has one property this is also true but set is different set has this string no set has one that is true so it's a true true false true so answer is c for this what will be the output of this so here we have object a123 now it's a little tricky so console.log whenever we do the object and there are duplicate uh, keys in an object then what it will do is it will put that duplicate key in the last so i think the output should be b is 2 and a is 3 answer should be c which is b2 a3 okay i think uh, let's read the explanation if you have two keys with the same name the key will be replaced and it will still be in the its first position okay i was just saying that it is moving to the last no it will override this a23 and b22 so answer is c here the javascript global context creates two things for you yes global object and this keyword that is true what will be the output of this so it's like a simple code where you are actually running a loop and you can actually for individual iteration you can do a break or continue so it will skip the third iteration so it should be one two four right one two three we have skipped one two four answer is c okay coming to this so i wanted to talk about this example so consider this example we are talking so let's uh, understand this thing because here we can understand the concept of arrow function and a simple function so here we are actually adding a prototype method get uh, uh, this particular uh, get pizza we are adding a method and let's say this is name 4 name 4 dot get lady pizza so this works fine i mean it will give us the whatever the value we want here if i try to print console dot log this right i need to change it because it's a const expression now if i try to print this currently this is pointing to the window object same example if i remove this arrow functions i use a simple function expression here something like this and trying to print this actually you can actually concat this right and here if i try to print this in this particular case this is pointing to the string only you can see this is pointing to this string okay so this is the difference between the arrow functions and normal functions which work which we work on so it will give us happily this value answer will be a here we have what is the output of this so a is an object and b is an object c is an object and we are putting b as a key as an object yes in an object you can put anything object will always treat that as a string it's not a object a of b b will be converted into a string object which is object object in double quotes so a of b will be 123 so output will be 123 only a third one is here we are calling bar foo badge right so bar is having some set timeout expression bar foo badge so set timeout will take time it's a single threaded and known io blocking code so you will get uh, first bar foo will print first and third then second first third and second first third and second is the output 
okay so let's talk about in the next video let's talk about fourth set of uh, uh, questions